So you have a small form factor computer. Does it make sense to actually try to upgrade it and make it into a gaming capable computer? So this is a 6th gen i5. So it's pretty decent for gaming, but the problem is this is a small form factor. And as you can see here, if you try to take a full height GPU, there's just no way it's going to fit. So these, you have to use a half height GPU. The problem also is that these power supplies are so uh, low on wattage that you really can't use anything that's got any high power, even if you have a half height card. And because of cryptocurrency and everything, half height cards have gone way more expensive than their full size equivalent. For instance, a GT 1050 half height card may run you 250, whereas you could pick one up for, I don't know, 175 normally, or price difference may be a little bit worse than that. However, if you are dead set on doing an upgrade, um, there are a few cards that are, you can still find at okay prices. So for instance, this is a two gig RX 460. Now it's nothing to write home about. Probably gets you 90 FPS somewhere thereabouts on most games. So again, it's not the greatest but it would work and this is like i said just a two gig card you can still pick these up for about 125 150. so does it make sense to go out and buy one of these uh, small form factor computers absolutely not but if you did have one and you don't mind just putting a little bit of money into a, a simple gpu like this and you don't mind you know just playing games like fortnite and you know, uh, really low settings, maybe Call of Duty on really low, and then your Minecraft and your Roblox, that kind of stuff, and you don't have really high expectations, then it might make sense to go out and get one of these. The, the one thing you could do is if you're gonna use one of this for a while till the GPU prices come down, it might actually make sense to go out and get one of these, use this type of computer, and then when you're done with it, you could turn around and sell this GPU for probably about what you have in it. Particularly if you could get a good deal like this was I think I spent $90 on this and I could probably get probably 100, 110 out of it right now. So it, only if you have plans of like just using this for a year or two and you're going to sell the GPU, does it really make sense to try to go out and like upgrade one of these? They do have, you know, they, they will take a nice SSD. You can disconnect the optical drive and use a second hard drive in here because this is SATA. So you could as well, like we taught in class, you could have your SSD and a secondary hard drive. And it does have four memory slots. So that's good, but it's just so tiny and with such a small wattage power supply that you're really limited in this. And that's why I don't, I don't recommend this unless you have one of these already. In which case, it might just make sense to go drop, drop $100 on like a 460 or... Um, they, they do have a, like I said, a GTX 1050 Ti, and they also make a 1650 half height. My gosh, those things are like 350 right now. So it, it doesn't make a lot of sense unless you're just, you don't really have a lot of expectations, in which case you could pick up like a hundred dollar 460 or something like that. And then it might be okay. Other than that, stay away from getting a small form factor.